Hello viewers, welcome to Tech Study Cell. Today we will discuss how to test different type of capacitor with the help of this multimeter. I am using not auto select multimeter so I have to select the range according. In today's video, we will test this four type of capacitor. The polypropylene capacitor, box capacitor, ceramic capacitor. These three types are AC capacitor and electrolytic capacitor which is a DC capacitor. Later we will discuss how to test a capacitor without using any multimeter. So let's start. First I am going to measure or I am going to test this polypropylene capacitor. The nominal value is indicated which is 0.47 microfarad. To measure the capacitor or capacitance we have to select the farad scale in the multimeter. Here F is written which indicate farad and it's a unit of capacitance. As it's not an auto select multimeter I have to select the range according its nominal value which is 0.47 microfarad. So I am selecting here 2 microfarad. Next I have to insert the capacitor in this slot. Cx is written here. But before inserting any capacitor in this slot we must discharge the capacitor. To discharge a capacitor we have to connect the two terminal of the capacitor this way. Now it discharge. Now I can measure its capacitance. Now I am inserting the capacitor in this slot and it's showing 0.46 microfarad. The value is showing in the microfarad scale. So it's almost near to the nominal value which is 0.47. So capacitance of this capacitor is ok. Next we will check the box capacitor. These are the box capacitor. Now we will check this box capacitor. The nominal value of this box capacitor is written on the top of the capacitor which is 100 nanofarad. So again I have to discharge the capacitor. I am connecting the two terminal of the capacitor to discharge it or I can do it with this method also. After discharging the capacitor I have to select the range. The nominal value is 100 micro nanofarad sorry 100 nanofarad. So I am selecting the nanofarad scale. Here is 200 nanofarad. Now I can insert the capacitor in this slot. Now it's showing 90 or 89 nanofarad. The 20% deviation is possible for this capacitor. So it's indicate this capacitor is ok. Now we will test this ceramic capacitor. For this ceramic capacitor, the nominal value is 15 picofarad. The capacitance value of this ceramic capacitor generally very low in picofarad or nanofarad scale. Now again before measuring the capacitance, I have to connect the two leads of the capacitor to discharge. Next I can connect or I can insert the capacitor in this slot. Here picofarad scale is not present so I am selecting 2 nanofarad which is the lowest scale present in this multimeter. Okay, now in the display point 
is showing the value is showing in the nanofarad scale so the capacitance of this capacitor is okay now we will check the electrolytic capacitor these are the electrolytic capacitor which is also dc capacitor and the nominal value for the electrolytic capacitor generally in higher range to identify its positive and negative terminal here the minus symbol is given to indicate its negative terminal this is the negative terminal I can say it by looking at this symbol and this should be positive terminal you can also identify the negative and positive terminal looking the length of this lead the positive terminal have greater length than negative terminal this should be positive terminal and this should be negative terminal now again before testing the capacitor I have to connect the two terminal or two lead for discharging now I can insert it in this slot I have to select the range I am selecting the range 2 microfarad and it's showing 0.866 microfarad which is almost near the 1 microfarad so the capacitance is ok of this capacitor as I have said that 20% deviation is possible now if I want to check this capacitor with the help of this digital multimeter the nominal value of the capacitor is 1000 microfarad and the maximum capacitance I can measure with this multimeter is 20 microfarad so it's not possible to measure 1000 microfarad with this multimeter but still I can check whether this capacitor is ok or not with the help of this multimeter for that I have to select any higher ohmic range I am selecting here 20 kilo ohm range and the leads of the multimeter should be connected this way the red lead should be in voltage and ohm port and black lead should be in common port next I have to connect the red lead in the negative terminal of the capacitor here its negative terminal is shown so I am connecting the red lead in the negative terminal of the capacitor and the black lead I am connecting with the positive terminal of the capacitor looking at the display you can see that capacitor is slowly charging as the value is increasing slowly which indicates that capacitor is charging after the certain period it is showing over limit now I am going to reverse the lead of the multimeter earlier I have connected the black lead in positive terminal of the capacitor and red lead with the negative terminal of the capacitor now I am going to connect the red lead with the positive terminal of the capacitor and black lead I am connecting with the negative terminal of the capacitor now you can see in the display the value is showing in negative and slowly it increasing which indicates that capacitor is now charging in the reverse polarity again after a certain period it is showing over limit thus we can check whether this capacitor is ok or not if this capacitor was not ok then it should not take the charge in both polarity with this method we can conclude that this capacitor is ok now there are also another method for checking the capacitor in this circuit different type of capacitor is mounted on this PCB 
and looking at this electrolytic capacitor you can see the top surface of this capacitor is slightly inflated it's not plain which indicate this capacitor not in good condition so looking at the capacitor you can say whether the capacitor is in good condition or not inflated top surface indicate that capacitor is not in good condition but if this capacitor was okay you can see here the top surface of the capacitor is plain there is also another method for testing a capacitor without the help of multimeter suppose if I want to check this capacitor whether it is ok or not I just have to charge the capacitor with the DC supply before that here 63 volt is written which indicate it can take charge up to 63 volt so simply I am going to charge this capacitor with this 9 volt battery for charging this capacitor I have to connect the positive leads of the capacitor with the positive terminal of the battery and negative leads of the capacitor with the negative terminal of the battery by connecting this way I have already charged the capacitor with the 9 volt now I have to connect any load for example I am connecting a DC buzzer so that you can listen the sound when the capacitor is discharged with through this buzzer again this as this is a DC buzzer here positive and negative terminal is indicated so I am going to connect the positive lead of the capacitor in the positive terminal and negative leads of the capacitor in the negative terminal you can listen the sound after I have connect and the sound is slowly decreasing as it's discharging the capacitor you can listen the sound and slowly is discharging and now the capacitor is totally discharged so it's charging and discharging and there is also not any inflated top portion so this capacitor is ok thus at the end of the video I hope you have understood how to check different type of capacitor with the help of multimeter and we have also discussed how to check the capacitors without the help of multimeter if you find the video is helpful to you please hit like button and share it with your friends and please do subscribe our channel to encourage me to make such videos thank you for watching